Tower of God is an anime that came out back in May, but I only caught up with it at the start of July. That's why I didn't make any videos about it while the series was still airing. I, I wasn't really planning on watching the show, but since the first season was finished and there were a lot of people talking about it online, I decided to binge watch all 13 episodes. Afterwards, I was left pretty curious to know how the story would develop, so I started reading up on the source material, which by the way is a South Korean comic or manhwa, and that's what I've been up to these last few weeks. I've fallen pretty much in love with the Tower of God story, to the point where all I want to do now is talk about it and read every arc at least three times. I'm planning on making two types of videos for now. The first one will be this one, where I'm just going to give you my quick thoughts on the anime series as a standalone thing, not as an adaptation of something much bigger. I'll try my best not to think about what I now know of the source material. The second video will be my opinion and criticisms of the show as an adaptation. That video will take longer to make, and I'll most likely have to split it in multiple parts, but I think I'll have fun with it, so that's what I'm doing. Let's start talking about Tower of God. It's a story about a boy named Bam that lived alone in a cave. One day, this girl named Rachel shows up and becomes his friend and family. She teaches him how to speak and a bunch of other stuff. But Rachel has a dream. She wants to see the stars. So she enters this place called the Tower and Bam follows her there. The whole series is an excuse for us to get to know the world inside of the Tower, its history and its inhabitants. World building and characters are what make this story great. It is a literal adventure, and like other anime like Goblin Slayer or Overlord, where it's the same fantasy RPG crap but with a different gimmick in every show, in Tower of God everything is just so incredibly unique and marvelous. It's a true adventure through the unknown, although not everything is perfect. Episode 1 is the worst episode of the show. Only after Bam was able to break through that ball and advance to the testing floor, that's when the show got interesting. Everything before, Bam talking to Hidden, him meeting Yuri, it was all pretty weird and lackluster, contrasting with the rest of the anime, which is weird and exciting. After that first episode, the plot got considerably more entertaining and diverse. The rest of the tests didn't take up an entire episode, and they weren't all fish-related tests. That's what I mean by diverse. They were enjoyable and creative, getting to learn more about the world of the tower, where every floor is massive, and if you manage to pass all the tests in each floor and go up the tower, your power will increase to the point where you basically become an immortal god. Everything about the lore, the power system called Shinzu, and the characters is awesome. There were never moments where it felt like the characters were being stupid because the plot needed them to be stupid in order to work, or moments where characters have to explain the same thing 10 times over because exposition is just so much fun. The My Hero Academia way of doing things. The worst thing about the series for me was the art style and the protagonist. The art style isn't bad, I don't know if there's a technical term for this hand-drawing sketchy look that the anime has, I just know that I don't find it visually appealing. That's more of a personal thing though, it's not something the anime did wrong, I just don't like how things look. Now, the protagonist is something I actually think could have been better. Even after reading the source material, I still don't care that much for Bam. He's your typical weak-ass protagonist with very thin motivations and goals. He doesn't know anything about the world, but for some reason gets all the cool superpowers and people are automatically attracted to him. Is he a Mary Sue character? I'm not sure. This kind of protagonist is just not something I care for. Bam as a person and a character is my least favorite thing about Tower of God. He's not even a favorite thing, he's just a character I have to put up with because he happens to be the protagonist of this awesome story I love to read. I would prefer someone more assertive and compelling, but Bam was all that was left apparently. Every other character in the story is great though, they are vastly more compelling and enjoyable to watch. Even Rachel. I don't like Rachel, she's a terrible person, but her character is far more fascinating to me than Bam's, and I'm not talking about what she knows of the world of the tower. Rachel is obviously one of the most knowledgeable people in this universe. What I mean is that Rachel is interesting to watch because of her fucked up logic behind doing things. It's like, I understand where she's coming from, I just think she's doing everything the wrong way and making the worst possible decision she could make. And she's a pretty shitty friend, makes Judas from the Bible look good. Anyway. The music of the show is great as well, I especially love the ED. The OP I didn't like, it almost gave me an epileptic attack, but the ED is awesome. I'm giving Tower of God a 7 out of 10. I definitely recommend this show. I recommend you watch the anime first, and if you want more, then start reading the webtoon. It's online for free. And don't start reading from where the anime left off. Read from the beginning. Trust me, it matters. Anyway, see you next time.